Hello everyone, I'm Jane, an Adobe Community Expert, and I'm here to show you a feature I love about the new Adobe Express, working with Illustrator and Photoshop files. As you might expect, there is more than one way to use these files in Adobe Express. Let's take a look. 1. From the Files area. When we have started a project, either from a template or from scratch, the panel Your Stuff shows us some files. This includes PSDC and AIC files saved as cloud documents in Illustrator and Photoshop. Clicking on a file will place it into your project or you can drag it across into the canvas. When we place the file this way, notice it has a blue icon in the top left corner telling us this is a linked asset. What does that mean? You can edit the file in the original program. Here I'm opening my Photoshop Cloud file, I'll make a change and save the file. When I go back to Adobe Express, I'll see a notification that my linked asset has changed and I can update. 2. Libraries. We all know how useful Creative Cloud libraries can be, so let's look how we can use them in Adobe Express. I've started building my project and now want to add another element, a hand. From the Your Stuff panel, I can find my library, click on the hand graphic to place it into my project and do my editing. Notice the blue link icon in the top left corner. This is still a linked asset, but the way we edit it is slightly different. Let's pop back to Illustrator and open the library there. To edit the linked asset from a library, double click the graphic in the library to open that instance of the design. I'll change the colour on the fingernail from blue to green and save the file. Returning to Adobe Express, I see a message in blue telling me the linked asset has changed and I can click update to see that change. One benefit of using elements like this from a cloud library is that your design now has individual elements that you can reposition and animate should you want to. Whilst I've used the elements from the Illustrator group in my library here, this will work with Photoshop elements too. 3. Start from your content. On the home page of Adobe Express, we have a new option, Start from your content. This allows you to upload a Photoshop or Illustrator or PDF file directly from your hard drive. I have a video thumbnail created in Illustrator and here you can see all my elements in groups. These stars have an effect on them, pucker and bloat. We'll see how Adobe Express handles those. The main titles use a custom font and are converted to shape outlines, with only subtitle here remaining as an Adobe font for live text editing in Adobe Express. Hopping over to Adobe Express, let's click Start from your content and choose our file, and select Open. This conversion might take a little time if you have a large file, but it's not usually too long. When your file is ready, click Open in Editor. And here's my design, looking just as it did in Illustrator. Over on the right hand side is our layer stack, showing only three layers because Adobe Express has worked out this design is mostly shapes that can be grouped together. They're all here under this layer with a number in the corner. Clicking it opens all the underlying layers and you'll notice we don't see layer contents, just icons. So you might be thinking, how do I navigate around? Well, the easiest way is just by clicking on the items that you might want on the project canvas. To return to the main layer view, simply click the background or any empty space around the canvas. The stars with the pucker and bloat effect have been rendered into full shapes and my live text for subtitle here has moved handily to the top of the stack which will make for easy editing. Here's another video thumbnail I created in Photoshop. All my layers are simple raster layers with the exception of the subtitle here which again is editable text using an Adobe font. Oh, I also ought to mention that Adobe Express currently recognises only three layer blend modes, normal, 
multiply and screen. If you use any other blend modes within either Illustrator or Photoshop, they can't be used within Adobe Express. This file is saved as a PSD file on my hard drive, and we can use it in exactly the same way as the Illustrator file. Start from your content, select, open, wait for it to convert, and open in Editor. With the PSD file, the layer stack shows each layer's content, making it easy to navigate and change layer order if needed. And of course, it's easy to change the text subtitle here, making this easy to use as a video thumbnail template. That's all from me. Bye for now.